Hey guys, there are lots of ideas online for organizing Legos, and while very aesthetically pleasing, most of them are not going to function in the long term. But fortunately, we have a friend, Milo, who loves Lego. I'm even guessing it is more than 3,000 pieces. I don't think there's anybody more qualified to offer long-term organization advice than Milo. Lego! <laughs> Plus, I'm really good friends with his mom, Kathy, so we headed over to bring you guys systems that work for the long term that will actually keep your house and your kid's bedroom clean. Hey guys, so this is my friend and assistant, Kathy. Anytime you see a printable from me or anything cool looking on my Instagram, she is the face behind it. She <laughs> is wonderful. My son has a superhero themed room and a lot, a lot of Legos that we needed to figure out how to organize and on a budget. Over the years, you've taught me how to do this. <laughs> With dollar store stuff. Tip one is to keep all of your Legos in sets. You can get clear shoe boxes from Walmart for 97 cents, so the sets that aren't being displayed have a place to go. And we like to store ours already assembled. It makes it much easier to find the pieces that you need when you're ready to build them again. Also consider having a designated place for your kids to display their creations. We got these shelves from Ikea. They are super affordable and they were just what we needed for a nice clean look to display our Legos. My goodness, that is so cool. Whoa! <laughs> it actually fires! The next tip is to have a good system for storing the extras, whether those are books or your Lego guys. Kathy used a freestanding tower that's perfect for corralling everything. And one of the best tips is to take those Dollar Tree sewing kits. They're just all divided by type so that this is where we look before we go trying to find one online. When organizing Legos, I learned from Kathy and Milo, it works best to store them by type of Lego rather than by color. They have these great Dollar Tree containers that they're using for their flat pieces as well as taller pieces. So when your kids go to build other things, it makes it super easy. Tip three is to have some sort of free play storage. Free play is so amazing because it allows your kids to be creative and make whatever they want using Lego. And I love that she is storing these in extra sheet sets. We can store it in here until they're ready to break it apart and make something new. And one of my favorite things I'd never seen before is a Lego mat. The kids can play on it, build their creations, and it scoops up using a cinch. So it's really easy to put it in the closet and then get it back out when the kids want to play again. My next tip is storing your directions. Now, most of the time you can find these directions online, but I find that younger kids really like to have a tangible copy. And she's using hanging files to do this, which you can find at the dollar store. So your kids can build again and again. And she even has a chore chart to incentivize her kids to do stuff around the home so they can earn more Legos. We're not into just giving our kids stuff for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are we. All right. <laughs> It also really helps to have an in-progress bin somewhere in the house. She got hers from the dollar store. They slip really easily underneath of the bed. The kids can put all of their Legos inside and work as they're able to. Another great idea for an in-progress bin is to have a travel canister. You can actually buy Lego flat pieces from the Dollar Tree for $1, way cheaper than it is on Lego website, and stick it into a small lunchbox so kids can travel with their creations and work out of the boxes. This is especially good for road trips. If your kids are Lego fiends, let me know in the comments down below your best tips for keeping them organized. I'm gonna put a link to Kathy's blog down below if you wanna check out her printables, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you there. Bye. This is why I love coming into other people's houses. This is so cool. Yes, we like to hang up our pants and shorts that are ready for school, and it also keeps them from getting wrinkled. I love it. And look how cool this is. Okay, up here. That is a toboggan. And she put glitter on it. Is that not so cool? This is, that's like the coolest <laughs> DIY ever. In person, you're much taller. <laughs> really? Yes. You, I mean, look, I'm average. I feel like you're pretty tall. I'm average. Well, there you go. You're above average. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yay.